Jule på Vesterbro, Westbridge Christmas, episode 22, Jule Danny. So the direct translation would be Christmas Danny, but I think they're doing a play on words on, because Danny sounds like, the start of Danny starts sounds like day, which is day, so Christmas day. Thoughts. Spoilers for these first 22 episodes, another episode I love, though I will be criticizing the offensive elements. And let's dive right in. So, yeah, they talk about how it's like Roskilde Festival, which I guess I don't actually have to translate. I believe Roskilde Festival is like international... I think at this point, um, yeah, yeah, it says one of Europe's biggest festivals, and yeah, you know, well, let's see, what is it they say, they're in, they're neck deep in shit, the, um, there's drugs, guns, cops, and then Randy, you know, so joyful ads, and hookers! <laughs> As if she isn't insulting herself by, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, and and Danny is trying to call the cops fascist pigs, but he uses the word face it, which is Danish for... Actually, I don't know the exact term in English, but face it listed is the the list of answers to you know once you've done your school work so that the teacher doesn't have to get involved you can check the face it list to see if you got stuff right and yeah when when Stuart corrects him Danny's like that too <clears throat> hmm. and we have a joke about how difficult it is to buy a Danish flag which boy that feels just so very messed up in a scene in a show that says that all Muslims are terrorists. You know, it, it's very much... It, if this had been made in America, I would have been shocked if it wasn't made by, like, hardcore Republicans. Like, you know, all these, you know, immigrant Muslims, every single one of them is a terrorist, and you can't even buy an American flag anywhere and yeah the the show demonizes Muslim prayer really really messed up like the <clears throat> you know they're they're they've rolled out the carpet they're they're on their their knees about to, to pray this is not a, a bad thing this is just you know like you might as well like do a, a movie about like a Christian nationalist and, you know, if he clasps his hand, that means he's about to, you know, kill someone or something. Let's see. Although, you, yeah, that would have to be in a country that doesn't have a Christian majority. And, yeah, uh, they make some really cruel jokes at the expense of, of Lundy. It's essentially bullying. You know, she admits that she's not picking up, she doesn't understand the jokes that Stuart is cracking. And instead of just moving on, they they bully her about it. Especially, like, the thing about, you know, Stuart says, I'm amazed that you weren't, um, crap, what's the term? That they didn't snuff you out right after you were born. You know, just incredibly messed up thing to say, even as a joke. And, and yeah, <clears throat> Stuart stupidly promises, you know, oh, we'll have exactly our favorite foods. And then, you know, there's, what was it? I guess you all don't have how of us. It's, it's, I guess, somewhat like Cheerios, you know, oat. Wait, is it oat? I feel like that's, anyway, yeah, you know, a, a breakfast, a cereal. And the, the, you know, um, tomato, what do y'all call floated tomatoes? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not even gonna, anyway, yeah, tomato, 
tomatoes that have been cut up partially. And coffee white, no. And, yeah, the, <clears throat> the cops do storm the place. And, let's see, yeah, and, and they tell me, you know, oh, that sure got a reaction. Oh, you mean, like, a tool with... That's an erection, not a reaction, you know. And and Danny's like, who who's Eric? So that was a joke that actually translated quite well because you all have the name Eric, and the word erection is, you know, erections are quite universal. That's a. Let's see, and at least according to the show. Anyway, the yeah, so. <clears throat> They go into the garage, and the guns come out, and we get that one shot of Danny reacting to the guns, which is in every episode's, you know, intro, which, like, it's an amusing enough reaction shot, but you didn't have to cut it so that we can clearly see one of Kefir's <coughs> brother's carrying a gun like it makes it completely clear that that's good I mean I guess I think the idea is supposed to be that as soon as as soon as we see Muslims trying to help Danes I, I guess maybe it's because they already know that the the hot dog stand misses the is is missing an engine I, I guess that's supposed to be the big clue, it's just so messed up to introduce Muslims and immediately be like, oh, they're terrorists. And we see this before we even meet Kefir. <clears throat> Let's see. You know, so so yeah, the moment that Kefir's brothers show up, it's like, oh, it's the guy with the gun from the intro. And yeah. <laughs> what you think you need one maybe maybe just one more guy with a gun and Igor walks out. Very funny, very yeah. And, let's see, yeah, Igor is about to, to shoot, and we hear a gunshot, and Stuart's like, oh, you know what, it really doesn't hurt to get shot, and it was Kefir who shot Igor instead, and, and yeah, the, Kefir explains the, the plan, and then Randy is like, well, I'm telling, wow, and we get some transphobia, everyone thinks she looks like a guy, and I think that covers, yeah, um, so, so yeah, we're very, <clears throat> very rapidly approaching the conclusion, and yeah, things are very rapidly ramping up, so, yeah, really getting, you know, ready for the big finish.